Okay. Dyer's polypore, uh, scientific name, Theolus schoenitzii. Not sure I'm pronouncing that right. This is a marcasite plant. Let's go ahead and see if we can get a spark here. Sometimes it takes several strikes to get a spark on this. So you can see this material, without processing it into a felt, is a good tinder also. Now, I'm going to go ahead and let this, blow this up into a flame. And what I'd like to do is to uh, show you another use for the polypore. This is a little fat lamp. And in it I have the pore layer. That's this lower layer down here on either this polypore. Uh, this one happens to be from the Ganoderma from the artist conch. So what I'm going to do is light this up. So with that going, I'm going to take a little bit of this, see if I can't get this going here, so I can use it as a wick. Okay. So this little piece of the pore layer goes into the fat lamp. There's a little olive oil in here. And... Uh, the little tubes inside here essentially act like little wicks, and so this makes an excellent wick, never really burns up, just keeps pulling the oil up and igniting it. So it makes a nice uh, material to use if you would like to do a fat lamp. So most any conch will have this pore layer, and you can use that as your wick. Another use for at least Ganoderma, and probably a lot of different conchs, is to make a little hearth board out of it and to use it for a friction fire. So what I'll do is I'll give it a try here in just a moment to uh, create a fire with friction using the conch itself as the hearth board. A little piece of uh, artist fungus, artist conch, uh, Ganoderma, apple and atom. A little bow drill here.
So there's a little ember. We won't blow this into flame, but you can see this does function as a hearth board. I have heard from other people that you can do this without actually cutting a notch in the side, that there's enough air circulation just with the tubes. A uh, couple attempts I've made to do it that way were not successful, so my suggestion is to uh, cut a notch. So, that's it. Thank you for watching. Visit PrimitiveWaves.com for the article and some links for how to process amadou from Fomus Fomitarius. And that's applicable for the other materials as well.